television. Jeff Benny, star of stage, screen, radio, and television. <laughs> no, no, Polly, not in the morning. It's all right when we have company. Oh, well, the coffee's nice and hot. Good, good. Oh, for heaven's sakes. What's the matter? Look at these eggs. They're sunny side up, and I wanted them flipped over. Flipped over? Yes. <laughs> That I could have done myself. <laughs> oh, there's the door. Rochester, answer the door. A paper napkin? After all, I'm star of stage, screen, radio, and television. <laughs> Not in the morning. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. Hello, Jack. Hello, oh, Don. Brought the commercials over. Thought you might like to take a look at them. Made a couple changes in them. Maybe you better talk to the agency about them, see what they have to say. What's the matter? Uh, what are you dressed like that for? This? Oh, oh, my wife and I have been talking about it for a long time. We finally decided to do it. Do what? What are you talking about? Oh, well, we're going out on the desert and search for uranium. Don, you're kidding. No, I'm not, Jack. I'm dead serious about it. Got the equipment and everything. We're going to drive out to the foothills, there we'll pick up a couple of burrows and pack in the rest of the way. We'll be gone about a week. But, Don, you're not used to living out in the open. I'm not, eh? First five years I worked for you, I had to sleep in the park. <laughs> well, that wasn't my fault. You were so fat you couldn't get into a room. <laughs> Don't blame me. Rochester, where's the toast? Coming. You sure you won't have something, Mr. Wilson? No, uh, no thanks, Rochester. Well... Lois and I better be getting started on that trip, I guess. You know, it's quite a little jaunt out there. Well, wish us luck, Jack. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> uranium. Now, I didn't want to say anything in front of Mr. Wilson, but his idea for looking for uranium is ridiculous. I mean, if the, if the big companies, uh, with all their equipment and experience, can't find any of them, what chance has he got? But, boss! Hey, Rochester, what are these spots on the toast? Oh, those are freckles. Freckles? Our toaster was broken, so I had to use the sun lamp. <laughs> but getting back to Mr. Wilson, I don't think he was so silly. A lot of people go out searching for uranium. Pass the jam, will you? Yes, sir. You know, I read in the paper where one man went out in the desert all alone and discovered a claim worth eight million dollars. Eight million dollars? Yikes! Howie, I told you to... Eight million dollars? Yikes! Rochester, where are you going? In the room to pack. What? Last time you yiped like that, we wound up in Tahiti, dying for pearls. But the desert isn't so far away, and uranium is valuable. You said so yourself. Yeah, but can't know. It'll be good for me. The doctor told me I need eight million. I, I need the exercise <laughs> and fresh air. Besides, it can't be so tough. Don Wilson is taking his wife along. Where are you going? I'm going over to see Miss Livingston and ask her to go with me. And you get ready too, Rochester, because I want to get started right away. <laughs> one thing about working for Mr. Bennett is never a dull moment. It isn't one thing, it's another. Mary, it, it can't miss. You know, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Look, there, there's nothing ridiculous about looking for uranium. Jack, will you please stop following me around and sit down? But I don't want to sit down. Well, I'm going to have my breakfast. Now, look, look, Mary. Look, how often do I get two weeks oh, off? Oh, for heaven's sake. What's the matter? You've done so much talking, you got me all mixed up. I made my eggs sunny side up and I wanted them flipped over. Flipped over? Wait a minute, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. Here, I'll get it off. No, just leave him there. I'll wear him in the Easter parade. <laughs> they do look all holes still. I get it. I get it. Now, Mary, Mary, how about it? Well, I don't 
know. But, look, it can't be so rough. There's three or four days in the desert. And look at the excitement. It'll be like the great gold rush of 1849. Jack, you didn't find it then. You won't find it now. <laughs> Mary, I'm serious. Now, as soon as you finish breakfast, I want you to get dressed and go down to the surplus store with me, and we'll pick up our equipment. Well, okay, but I'll finish my coffee. Okay. Okay. I knew you. <laughs> Gosh, they got a lot of stuff in here. I'll be able to get everything I need. Jack. Yes, Mary. Before you buy all this equipment, are you sure you want to go on this trip? I think it's really silly. Mary, it isn't silly. You just don't understand. I mean, if I, if I discover uranium, it'll be like, like finding eight million dollars. Why go to all that trouble? You can find eight million dollars in your vest pocket. <laughs> what are you trying to do, get me held up? Maybe we can use some of these picks. Why don't you get your camping equipment first? I say, Mary. Say, Mary, get a load of that sign. Well, what about it? Well, don't you get it? No. Well, you will in a minute. Hey, watch this. Oh, mister. Mister. Yeah. <laughs> Am I glad I ran into this guy? Well, you called me. What is it? Uh, look, uh, look, mister, this sign here, it says, take your choice. I mean, shouldn't it say, uh, take your pick? <laughs> hey, Joe, another one just came in. <laughs> Somebody else pull that joke? Yes, but you're the first adult. Why don't you tell them what you want and let's get out of here? Now, look, we're, we're going out on the desert on a camping trip. So what equipment will I need? Oh, well, well uh, just follow me. Now, uh, I think the first thing you want to get, of course, is a sleeping bag. Yeah, I've, I've never had a sleeping bag. How does it work? Oh, it's very simple. You just crawl all the way down inside and then zip it all the way up. Gee, won't I, won't I suffocate? Jack, you're supposed to keep your head out. Hmm? Oh, I wish you hadn't told him. <laughs> now look, uh, excuse me, I have to take care of another customer here. Guy drives me nuts. You know, Jack, hmm? instead of buying sleeping bags, why don't you get a couple of tins? Look, you don't even have to buy them. They have tins for rent. See? Oh, yeah. See, these are identical tens. Yet one, look at one says two fifty a day. This is six dollars a day. I wonder what the difference is. Maybe the six dollar one comes with maid service. <laughs> maid service. Some joke. Better than take your pick. All right, all right. Have you made up your mind about the sleeping bag? Well, oh, we're going to uh, rent these tents instead. Oh, very good, very good. In that case, you'll need blankets. Yeah, it does get pretty cold out there. It, it sure does. Yeah, I once made a trip to the desert, but I was snuggy as a little bunny in my electric blanket. <laughs> well, how can you use an electric blanket way out in the desert? I have 320 miles of cord. <laughs> just said that for a joke. I thought maybe he could use it on his television program. <laughs> oh, oh, then you know who I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if you'll allow me, I'd like to make you a present of this blanket. A present for me? Yes, yes. You won't have to worry about electricity or anything. It operates on kerosene, and it'll keep you very warm. Oh, well, thank you very much. I mean, a kerosene blanket, that's novel. How does it work? You dip it in kerosene and light it. <laughs> For heaven's sakes. Well, here, here, here's a complete list of all our camping equipment. You can just check off the items that you like. All right. Excuse me, sir. 
Uh, would you wait on me, please? Oh, certainly. Uh, pardon me. Oh, uh, what did you have in mind? Uh, one of these. Oh, one of these life jackets? Yes, that's right. Uh, here, here, slip this on. Okay. Look, right there. There we are. Yeah, what do you think of that? It's all right. I'll take this. Uh, good, good. I'll get a sales book. Mm -hmm. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me, mister. Are you going on a boat trip? Uh, no, I have a sport coat that's too big for me. <laughs> Mary, why does, why does everybody give me such silly answers? Well, I merely asked him if he was going on a boat trip. Well, what'd you think he was going to do with that life jacket? Take a shower? <laughs> now, come on, let's go over this list. Now, let's see, I want those tents that we picked up, Mary. And we'll need canteens and a flashlight and, uh, oh, a hammock. I want to get a mm -hmm. hammock, too, in case we want to relax. Maybe I better get one of these hats. Let's see. This one here. Well, Miss Livingston, I presume. Oh, gosh, I'm exhausted. Well, let's rest here until Rochester comes up. Jack, we've walked over six miles already. You told me we were going to meet Don and Lois somewhere near the foothills. Now, where are they? Well, these aren't the only foothills, Mary. Wait a minute, I'll, I'll look at the map. Yeah. Are you sure that map's any good? Well, of course it's good. I got it the last time I bought gas. The last time you bought gas, they thought the world was flat. <laughs> Don't be funny. Now, look, Mary, the foothills are all along here. So come on. Oh, wait a minute, Jack. Huh? Don't you think you ought to give the donkeys another lump of sugar? Yeah, OK. There you are. There. Come on, Roger. <laughs> Be careful of the cactus, Roger. You tired? Oh, I'll make it all right. Where's Mr. Benny? Oh, he stopped back there to water it. The... Here he comes now. Mary, Mary, get my canteen. It's right alongside of my donkey. It is so hot. It's been beating down on me for days, for weeks. Please. Mary, Mary, hurry. My throat is parched. Please, senor. Mary. The sun for weeks. Water. Please, hurry. Hurry. Oh. 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 Gracias, senor. You are so kind. Please, I wish to express my gratitude. Please take these moroccas. Oh, that, this is not necessary. Please take them. I will feel better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, I have to go back to work. Adios. Adios. Here, here, take this. Yes. There you are. Give me the mule. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. All right, Mary. Let's go. Jack, yeah. if we don't find Don within the next 15 minutes, I'm not going to walk any further. No, we'll find him. Oh. 
and help me tie the ropes to the stakes. Yes, sir. Hey, look. There's some fellas down there. Maybe Don and Lois are with them. I'm going to see. Well, we've been all around here for three days. Something tells me this is the spot. Hmm. Don and Lois aren't with them. According to the survey, this should be the exact place we're looking for. The exact place they've been looking for? Well, we're in luck. But let's get some sleep, and we'll start digging the first thing in the morning. Uranium. Well, it's okay with me if it's all right with you fellas. I'm sure this is a spot. If we dig right here, I think we'll find the gas pipe we're looking for. <laughs> Put in a new turn-off valve and our job's done. Come on, let's get back to camp. Here's some coffee, Jack. No, oh, thanks. Thanks, Mary. You know, Jack, for the last five hours, you've had a very funny gleam in your eye. Now, what's on your mind? Oh, nothing. Oh, come on now, Jack. Tell me what it is. Well, all right. You know those four fellas I went over to see this afternoon? Well, they've got a map with them, and they're looking for uranium. And they found the exact place. You're kidding. They're going to start digging early tomorrow morning, so I'm going over there later tonight and beat them to it. Oh, for heaven's sake, Jack. They found that spot, and it belongs to them. Tomorrow morning, we can get up and find our own place. But, Mary... Jack, forget about it and go to sleep. Look, Mary, if we can find... Just go to sleep, Jack. All right. I'll go to bed. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Rochester, you better get some sleep, too. Okay, well, I put out the fire first. Okay. Good night. Gosh, the uranium. Eight million dollars, and I know the spot. Yes, sir. Jack, stop singing and go to sleep. All right, all right, Mary. I don't care what Mary says. I'm going to get up early in the morning and dig for that uranium.
buddy. What do you think you're doing? You know what I'm doing. Come on, we got work to do. Scram. Oh, yeah? Well, I got here earlier. This is my spot now. I said scram. Wait a minute. Let him dig. <laughs> you got right you let me dig. I know where he is. Come on. <laughs> Jack! Don't bother me, Mary. Hey, bud, not so hard. Don't break that gas line. I don't care if... Gaslight. That's what we're looking for. What are you looking for? <laughs> Tell him what you were looking for, Jack. Jack, you can stop digging now. Jack! Jack! Jack, you can stop digging now. Jack, what are you digging for? I know this is hard to believe, folks, but I was so embarrassed, I just had to come home this way. Now, oh, we should want this. Return this. And I want to return this jacket, too. Take it off. Take it off. <laughs> and take off that hat. Here. <laughs> and take off those glasses. Here. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't get these glasses from you. Yeah, I know. I just want to punch you in the nose. <laughs> well, you're not going to. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, good night, folks.